Good afternoon, I'm Assad Ahmed. There's a fear that the rapidly growing number of barber shops in London could be compromising the health and safety of customers. It's because anyone here can have a shop and start cutting hair and giving shaves to customers, unlike in America, Australia and several European countries, which require barbers to be trained and have a licence. Ben Hunt has been investigating. For millions of men, visiting a barber is fairly routine. Usually, they leave looking and feeling better. But things can go wrong. Boils, bald patches and infections. And all because of dirty equipment. Walking down London's high streets, you'll see more barber shops than ever before. They're the top spots for trendy haircuts and popular meeting places. But the UK's barbering industry is difficult to regulate and barbers here don't even need a license to practice. For some in the capital, this is causing huge problems. They were here and here. Meet Where Jacob. He got a fungal infection after his barber used dirty tools to cut his hair. In like the summer of 2015, I started to get some pretty bad bumps on my head and there'd be pus coming out. And um, every time I'd wake up, I'd look down my pillow and there'd be spots of blood everywhere. So I was put on antibiotics for um, a combined time of about four weeks. Um, but nothing really, it would subside, but it would just come back straight after that. And it was quite painful, quite itchy. Um, I wasn't able to, to um, shave without opening up the wounds again. Dirty clippers or razors at barbershops can put customers at risk of bacterial and viral infections like folliculitis, herpes and warts, to name a few. We are seeing more and more of this um, and if the barber isn't trained then in fact what can happen is there's an entry of bacteria into the uh, scalp, the hair bulb becomes infected and then they have an infection. If you're trained you would know that it's very important to sterilise your equipment. But not everyone is doing that. Take a look at these pictures we took inside an East London barbershop. Bloodstained and rusty razors. We showed them to one of the industry's leading figures. And there's just hair everywhere, there's teeth missing. The councils, I think, need to get involved with health and safety and just check. And not shut down people, help people. Tell them what the, the legislation is and people get a qualification, they un understand everything else. At the London School of Barbering, hygiene is high up on the priority list for these students, who must complete three months of training before they can practice professionally. USA and Australia, you have to gain X amount of uh, hours to gain your licence. Here in the UK, you don't. I think that's something that is essential to the health and safety of our customers. You know, you wouldn't go to a mechanic that wasn't qualified, would you? We contacted all of London's 32 councils, but none could tell us how many barbershops operated in their area, and only one was looking into complaints. So while it doesn't look like anything will be changing soon, it's vital that customers are aware of the risks and always look out for the signs. Ben Hunt, BBC London News.